Mm. Hallelujah. What a great and awesome day that God has given to us. Today is the 27th of April, 2015. And by the grace of God, I happen to have clocked another year today. And of which God has been faithful to me. He has been faithful to my family. He has been faithful to everyone around me. God has helped us so far. And we are not where we ought to be, but we are taking a step there, step by step. God is moving us there. And this morning, God has given me a scripture as I was meditating this morning. Jeremiah chapter 1. I read from verse 4 and 5 from the Amplified Bible. He said, Then the word of the Lord came to me, Jeremiah saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew and approved of you as my choosing instrument. Before we were formed, if this is the word of the Lord coming to Jeremiah, say, Before I formed you, I knew you, and I have appointed you as my chosen instrument. And then before you were born, I separated and set apart. I separated you, I set you apart. Why? I consecrated you and I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. To the nations. God said, I did. It is not our making. What we become in life is not our making. Most of the time, it's not by how much we are able to work them out. It's not about how much we struggle or we go to school to make them be. No. We have ambitions. We have visions. But God has the ultimate visions and plans for our life. And for you not to ever struggle in life, be in God's vision for your life. For you not to ever struggle in life. Not, it's not about the many things we want to become. It's about what God has ordained us to be. Most of the things we should become, we don't even like. I tell you, for many years I knew I was going to be into the ministry, but I wanted to go to, to, do, to oil companies. I wanted to do my private businesses. I, I, that was my dream. That was my plan. Those were what I wanted to become. I never wanted to become a minister of the gospel today. I never wanted to sit by my computer and preach God's word to you. I feel what I do will attract you to come and, 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 and come to know the Lord. But God telling me this morning, he said, Life boy, before I formed you, I knew thee. And I'm telling you this morning that whatever your name is, Kingsley, Godwin, whatever your name is, Jen, Janet, Favor, whatever your name is, before God formed you, he knew. Before the seed, scientists say that we have a million sperm that could get to your mother's ovary to become a child. But how come it was you that ran through the distance into the cell and became the child you are today? God said, He said, Before I formed thee, I knew thee. I didn't just form you out of um, presumption. You were not born by mistake. You were not born by accident. You were not born out of an unholy relationship for which we think that many children today were born by mistakes it wasn't planned for. No. That wasn't the reason why you were born. You were born to fulfill God's purpose. For it is God's purpose that made you exist on it. Without God's purpose, you won't exist. And God has given you the trust. That's why you have the permission to live here. I can tell you, if God opens your eyes, you will see that there are billions and trillions of people that wish to seek this opportunity to live in the flesh. I'm not talking about the people that have died. I'm not talking about the people that, 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 that were on earth and are dead and want to come back because they want to make 
they are way right before God. I'm not telling you about those people. I'm telling you about even the people that are not yet found. Who wishes, who will wish that the Lord found them? The opportunity that God has given to man today, if he had given to stones, they will not abuse it. If he had given to trees, they may not abuse it. But you know why people abuse God's priority today? Because the field is their right. The field, living in the flesh, living in, in, in this body, and having to do ministry for God. That's why people play with God and play with church. And people play with the power of the Holy Ghost. And they even mock the Lord. You can't mock the Lord. You can only mock yourself. So, God is telling you this morning that you shouldn't be afraid of tomorrow. You shouldn't be afraid of what will happen. You shouldn't be afraid of anything that the devil wants to set on your way. That before him, the Lord formed you. He knew you. And he approved you as his chosen instrument. And before you were born, he separated you and set you apart, consecrated you, and appointed you as a prophet to the nation. You may not be a prophet. You may be the businessman in our time that will not use our money to kill the human. You may just be that person that God wants to use for other people. You may just be that person that God wants to elevate, that God wants to set in, 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 in the government of our society. You may just be that young man that God wants to use in the finance of our society to make sure things are distributed evenly in the society. Because God knew that of all his creatures, there are the good and there are the bad. But yet he feeds all of them. And therefore, he seeks for a man. He created men that will handle that. And he gave them special ability. Which is even more different than what you studied at school. Which may even be more unique than you thinking, okay, I want to read accounting because I want to know what. I want to. Accounting doesn't just mean counting money. It means thinking about how to improve the finance of the world and of your society and of your people. Not just for yourself, but for the world. For God's kingdom. That is God speaking. That even before you were born, you were separated. You were consecrated. You were set apart. You were appointed to become that thing which God wants you to be. What God wants you to be is greater than what you want to become yourself. A lot of time we have a lot of things we want to be. I had a lot of plans for myself. I wanted to just finish my, my, my BSc and get to do my masters and from there I, I, I get to work in an oil company and from there I get to own my private farms all around the world and I had a lot of dreams I wrote them down and I wrote them down and <laughs> a lot of times I go back to them and I say Holy Ghost doesn't mean I have to leave this plan but God told me something precisely in 2013 he said my plan for your life I will unveil them precepts upon precepts. Precepts upon precepts. That's what God told me. And I, 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 I definitely knew that His plans are above my own. Therefore, I have no option but to subdue my plan for the Lord. The Lord's plan for your life is what will grant you peace, it will grant you boldness, it will grant you favor before God and man. And you, knowing that, the Lord your God is the one that will help you. You can't help yourself. You can't help yourself. Therefore, God is our source and our sustainer. God is our source. And may the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine on you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.